food this evening, we're going to hear from Ellen Van Nierven. Uh, when you stand in front of a great work of art, uh, you enjoy a moment of communion, as we've heard tonight, uh, with tradition, with memory, uh, with country. Um, but, but the other thing great art has the power to do is inspire us to create art of our own and our own feats of imagination. And for each of the four weeks of this series, uh, we aim to uh, hear from someone who offers a creative response uh, to the artwork. Uh, Ellen's the author of Heat and Light, which comes out in September of this year. It won the 2013 David Uniapon Award. Uh, she was born in Brisbane in 1990 to Aboriginal and Dutch parents, and Ellen is a Ugambe woman with ancestral ties to the scenic rim region. She works as senior editor at Black and Right, Indigenous Writing and Editing Project out of the State Library of Queensland, which aims to support and promote Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander writers and editors. Uh, she's also the editor of Writing Black, which is a new digital collection of Indigenous writing with an emphasis on innovative storytelling, including spoken word and Twitter fiction. Please make her very welcome. Hello and thank you. Um, I'm going to read uh, three poems tonight inspired by Arnie and Emily. And I'm also very inspired and moved by the previous speakers as well. Thank you. Family, earth, dingo, eagle, fire, food, whole lot, it's all of those things. What we eat comes from our roots. If we stop sharing, there will be nothing. We start with black, let it get hold of you. Look at the stars, or are you afraid to? The day shows, country spread open, a map of all that was and will be. Don't forget it. I'm tracing it to remember. Don't be scared. We are not here until we sit here. We sit in silence and we are open. There's different kinds of time. I hope you'll understand. Sing it. I want this to be here when I leave again. I've been leaving a lot of times, but it doesn't mean I want to. There is no easy way to cry. Tell them I'll be back soon. When I come back and sit here, I want to still see Mubin powering through the sky. Let me tell you with my skin, under the earth we will find a whole lot. It's all of those things. Her mother has just died, but she has bunya nuts, a shopping bag full, and she gives them to me. I fill a bowl of nuts to take with me upstairs, mostly to keep my hands busy, peeling back my nerves. I've been finding it hard to move through, and when you're scared, you're not very generous. She held my shoulder when I spoke too fast, wanting no one to hear me in the surf. To know and to watch her is to want to be brave. She crashed next to me and split us fruit. She will wear any t-shirt, black and black fella, put it on her and take it to the streets. Those West End bars with their pool tables, a lemon, lime and bitters and a good bloody cry. Fingers find finger limes in my country. We travel to the forest the morning after rain. My fingers have been cold in the mornings. We cross a coloured creek along a patient log. We walk towards frog calls. We walk away from winter. I want to stop on the way back get some finger limes. I've been homesick for them, but when we return, they're gone. 
My fingers have been numb. We go home anyway. And you make me dinner. I'm sorry if I'm crying. I haven't had anyone cook me a meal. It's been a while, you know. Something in me is woken up and I can see the pictures in my head. We talk about what we would and what we wouldn't eat to stay who we are for love. My fingers know more than I can fit into thought. Memory is the last offence we have to cold fingers. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. Um, Judith kicked us off this evening uh, quoting T.S. Eliot on the interconnectedness of beginnings and endings. Uh, but uh, that quote, which is from Four Quartets, actually uh, made me think of another quote from the same poem that uh, pertains to me directly uh, to this magnificent artwork. Uh, and it's the refrain that comes up a few times in that poem, that the dancers lie under the hill. Uh, we heard about the significance of dance, of ritual, uh, and the wonderful kind of kinetic energy of this work and the way in which uh, it's there just beneath the surface um, amongst, amongst the tap roots that Matt talked about. Um, I think we've heard from uh, six extraordinary speakers tonight, and I'd ask you to join me in thanking them. Judith Ryan, Bruce Pascoe, Mandy Nicholson, Matt Preston, Clinton Nain, and Ellen Van Neeren. You can, of course, stand and reach your own conclusions about Big Yam Dreaming at the NGV. Uh, points of view is back next week. A uh, big thank you to our partners at the National Gallery of Victoria and their uh, extraordinary curatorial team and to the Wheeler Centre team for their, as ever, outstanding work. Thank you all and see you next week. Thank you.